Smile, you're on candid camera. kids doing. They got some old styrofoam out of a box we're throwing away and they're making a TV. I would, but I'm busy filming. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it in a minute. Oh, you know they do this at the market for you. <laughs> yeah, they got the electric ones. It's much faster. This is how we get our shredded coconut to make coconut milk. It's about 30 pesos a coconut. You have to drink this like upside down, huh? This is the coconut they grate up. They use that big grater you saw. This is the coconut. And this water is going to be coconut milk. I never knew how coconut milk was made until I got here. It's really kind of fun. You dump all the coconut in the water and it makes a mess. You just start squishing it around. Yeah, see? It's messy fun. You just squish the coconut in the water. It releases a bunch of the fats and the goodness of the coconut into the water. And that is called coconut milk. And when we're done with that, we will strain the water out. And if there's any chickens or pigs still alive outside, we'll feed them the coconut. Okay, after it's been massaged in the water and sits for a minute, take it and you just squeeze all the water out. I generally use both hands. It is faster and easier. But I don't have time to set up the tripod to film this because we're about to have a scheduled brown out. So I'm trying to get some stuff done while we have lights. Anyway, you squeeze all the water out. Toss the dry coconut away. When you have all of it squeezed out, filter it through a strainer and to remove the rest of the particles and you just have the leftover water, which is called coconut milk. It's like magic. Squeeze out as best you can. You'll have a bag full of soggy coconut and some messiest, kind of messy coconut milk. Run it through a strainer. Whatever solids were left in it will end up in your strainer. You squeeze that last bit through the strainer because you don't, you don't want to dump the coconut in. When you're done with all of it, you have a 
this bag of soggy coconut. Excuse me while I wash my hands again. Yes, I wash my hands numerous times throughout this process. And what you have now is four cups of coconut milk. The first pressing is always really good. You can sort of do a second pressing if you really need to, but all I'm doing is one batch of chicken curry, so that's all I need. So we're not going to bother. It's usually pretty inferior. It's, kind of, it's more watery, but depending on what you're making, it can work. But the first pressing is always the best, and generally, since it's only, what is this, 30 pesos, it's less than a dollar. It's like 75 cents for one coconut. Already grated. I don't bother doing two pressings hardly ever. So let's make chicken curry. <laughs> 